This is going to be the first video in a series of videos on how to use JSON in Oracle 12C. I'm making these videos because when I first started using JSON in 12C, I had trouble understanding the documentation, so I figured if I make the videos, I could make them a little easier to understand for other people. So in this first video, I'm going to cover how to create columns that can hold JSON data in your database. So in Oracle, there are no JSON data types. Instead of JSON data types, you use regular character data types like bar card twos or clobs, and then you put check constraints on the columns you create with those data types, saying that this column will only hold JSON data. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a table. Let's call it JSON examples. And I'm going to create three columns to demonstrate three different check constraints with JSON. So the first column is going to be called LAX. And I'm going to make all three columns clobs. Second column will be strict can't call it strict, so strict JSON club. And I'll call the first column lax JSON. And then finally I'll call the third column unique JSON. So now to create the constraints. I'm going to create a constraint for each one of these columns that's slightly different and then I'll demonstrate how they work by inserting data into those columns. So the first constraint on lax, I'll call it lax constraint, con for short. It's going to be a check constraint. Lax JSON is JSON. That's it. So to say that this lax JSON column is going to hold JSON data, just needs to put a check constraint saying that it is JSON. As simple as this. The second column. I'll create another constraint. It's also a strict or a check constraint. But instead of just is JSON, I'm going to add the strict keyword after JSON. And strict basically means that the data that you pass in must be completely at it must completely adhere to the the JSON spec, whereas this first column can have um, more of a representation of a JavaScript object, whereas this is pure JSON. So if you know the difference between a JavaScript object and a JSON object, you know in a JavaScript object your properties or your keys, whatever you like to call them, don't need to have quotes around them. But in JSON, they do have to have quotes. So that's strict JSON. Even though they may appear to be the same, and in JavaScript they're handled exactly the same, one is strict JSON and the other isn't. And I'll show you an example of this so it makes more sense. And then the final column will be unique con check, unique JSON is JSON. And then after JSON, instead of strict, I'll have with unique keys. Okay, so let me create this table. And I put string JSON instead of strict JSON for some reason. So let me run it again. Okay, so I've created the table. Now I want to insert into these columns just so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to insert into the first column I created, lax JSON. And I'm simply going to put a basic JSON object in there. And another mistake with a quoted string. Um, JSON examples. Okay, so I've inserted the row into JSON examples and it successfully inserted. Now let me try to insert something else into that column that isn't quite JSON. So 
I'll have the same as before. Extra stuff here that isn't JSON. And now I'll try to insert it. And I see that I have a constraint violation. This is because this is not JSON. I mean, this part of it is a JSON object, but this extra stuff after here is not a JSON. So it won't allow it to insert into that column. So let's move on to the second column. I'll just to keep everything lowercase. So the second column can take in JSON objects, of course, but they have to be strict. So let me show you what happens when you try to add just a normal JavaScript object. So there's no quotes around the property here, only quotes around the string. So, okay, so it's saying that because it's not strict, I cannot insert. And just to show you, if I change the column to lax JSON and then insert this, it inserts because this is close enough to JSON that it understands what you're trying to do. But when you have a strict constraint on the column, it won't let you do this because technically it's not valid JSON. You have to have the quotes around the property name. And there are some other things that are different between JavaScript objects and JSON objects. So just refer to the JSON spec if you're not completely sure what qualifies as strict JSON. And the JSON spec is very straightforward, so it should be easy to figure out what you can and can't have in a JSON object. And now I want to demonstrate the third constraint, unique con. What this means is the properties in your JSON object have to be unique. So you can't have two names in the same JSON object. So to demonstrate that, let me do this. Unique JSON. Name JSON. And then name JavaScript. Okay, so this one has two keys with the same name, and it just happens to be name. So I'll try to insert, and the constraint is violated. If I change one of the property names to, let's say, language, and insert it, it works. And if I try to insert the same thing, so let me change this back to name. And instead of unique JSON, I put it in lax JSON. I should be able to insert it. Okay. So I hope that was a good demonstration on how the three constraints work. And if you want, you could um, combine these two. So you can have strict with unique keys. You just put with unique keys immediately after the strict. If you want it to be both strict and to have unique keys only in your JSON objects. So in the next video, I'm going to cover how to query very simple JSON objects. And then in later videos, I'll show you how to query more complicated ones. So now that we have the data in the database, we want to query it. And I'll cover that in the next video. So thanks for watching.